Okay, so welcome guys. And this is going to be the final chapter uh, reading the, the killing joke. So we finished off last time. Um, Batman was searching for the Joker. The Joker had kidnapped Commissioner Gordon and uh, it was I think the Joker had invited Batman to um, his amusement park that he had made himself or bought so now we'll continue on So all the circus freaks laughing at Gordon. Ladies and gentlemen, you've read about it in the newspapers. Now shudder as you observe before your very eyes that most rare and tragic of nature's mistakes. I give you the average man. Physically unremarkable, it is instead a deformed set of values. Notice the hideously, hideously bloated sense of humanity's importance in the club-footed social conscience and the withered optimism. It's certainly not for the squeamish, is it? Most repulsive of all are its frail and useless notions of order and sanity, if too much weight is placed upon them. How does it live by you, you ask? How does this poor, pathetic specimen survive in today's harsh and irrational world? The sad answer is, not very well. Faced with the inescapable fact that human existence is mad, random and pointless, one in eight of them crack up and go stark, slavering bagu can blame them in a world as psychotic as this. Any other response would be crazy. The headlights are the Batmobile. Batsy. Hello. I came to talk. thinking lately about you about me about what's going to happen to us in the end we're going to kill each other aren't we perhaps you'll kill me Perhaps I'll kill you. Perhaps sooner. Perhaps later. Jim, are you are you still okay? Oh God, it's okay. Let it go. photographs. He tried to drive me mad. Listen, the police are following right behind me. I'll stay here with you until they arrive. No. No. I'm okay. You have
have to go after him. I want him brought in. And I want him brought in by the book. I'll do my best. By the book you hear, we have to show him. We have to show him that our way works. So I see the f you received the free ticket I sent you. I'm glad I did so want you to be here. You see, it doesn't matter if you catch me and send me back to the asylum. Gordon's been driven mad. I've proved my point. I've demonstrated there's no difference between me and everyone else. All it takes is one bad day to reduce the sanest man alive to lunacy. That's how far the world is from where I am. Just one bad day. You had a bad day once, right? I know I am. I can tell you've had a bad day and everything changed. Why else would you dress like a flying rat? You had a bad day and a trivia as crazy as everybody else. Only you won't admit it. You have to keep pretending that life makes sense, that there's some point to all this struggling. God, you make me want to puke. It's the Joker. I mean, what is it with you? What made you what you are? Girlfriend killed by the mob? Maybe brother carved up by some mugger. Something like that, I bet. Something like that. Something like that happened to me, you know. I'm not exactly sure what it was. Sometimes I remember it one way, sometimes another. If I'm going to have a past, I prefer it to be multiple choice. See the similarities between the Dark Knight is so. But my point is, my point is, I went crazy when I saw what a black, awful joke the world was. I went crazy as a coot. I admit it. Why can't you? I mean, you're intelligent. Um, I mean, you're not unintelligent. You must see the reality of the situation. Do you know how many times we've come close to World War Three over a flock of geese on a computer screen? Do you know what triggered the last World War? An argument of how many telephone poles Germany owed its World War debt creditors telegraph poles. It's all a joke. Everything. Any ever value or struggled for, it's all a, de a monstrous, demented gag. So why can't you see the funny side? Why aren't you laughing? Because I've heard it before. And it wasn't funny the first time. Incidentally, I spoke to Commissioner Gordon before I came in here. He's fine. Despite all your sick, vicious 
little games is as sane as he ever was. So maybe ordinary people don't always crack. Maybe there isn't any need to crawl under a rock with all the other slimy things when trouble hits. Maybe it was just you all the time. No. Don't. Uh huh. Joker is pretty strong for a skinny guy. shot a defenseless girl. I terrorized an old man. Why don't you kick the hell out of me and get a standing ovation from the public gallery? Because I'm doing this one by the book and because I don't want to. Do you understand? I don't want to hurt you. I don't want either of us to end up killing the other. But we're both running out of alternatives. And we both know it. Maybe it all hinges on tonight. Maybe this is our last chance to sort out the bloody mess. If, if you don't take it, then we're locked onto a suicide course. Both of us to the death. It doesn't have to be like this. It doesn't have to end like this. I don't know what it was that bent your life out of shape, but who knows? Maybe I've been there too. Maybe I can help. We could work together. I could rehabilitate you. You needn't be out there on the edge anymore. You needn't be alone. We don't have to kill each other. What do you say? No, I'm sorry, but no, it's too late for that. Far too late. You know, it's f funny, this situation. It reminds me of a joke. See there are these two guys in a lunatic asylum. And one night, one night they decide they don't like living in the asylum anymore. They decide they're going to escape. So like, they get up onto the roof and they're just across the narrow gap. They see the rooftops of the town stretching away in the moonlight. Stretching away to freedom. And now the first guy, he jumps right across with no problem. But his friend, his friend didn't make the leap, you see. You see, he's afraid of falling. So then the first guy has an idea. He says, hey. I have, a f I have my flashlight with me. I'll swing it across the gap between the buildings and you can walk across the beam and join me. But the second guy just shakes his head. He says, he says, what do you think I am, crazy? 
he'd turn it off when I was halfway across. Joker's having a laughing fit. And even Batman smiles. So that was the final, final image. I guess he has, recaptures the Joker. I don't know what this thing is. Some sketches. Um, this this comic book reading and uh, oh, I'm tired now I I'll try and find something more to um, talk about try and find another comic to read through and um, thank you for watching <laughs>